Hello YouTube, Scratch About 1996 here again, and welcome back to another episode of FTB. It's finally back, oh yeah. Finally, with another episode of Feed the Beast. This series is coming back, and this um, mod pack is called the Crack Pack, as I am told. And I'm still going to call the series FTB, just for the sake of keeping it like FTB. And I'm actually going to turn cheats on, just in case I need to do, like, debugging cheats or or uh, commands or things like on the Attack of the Bee Team mod pack, there are the extra particle effects, like, that have the leaves and such, and those could get quite annoying. Same with the water effects, like, the water makes, like, a splashing sound kind of thing, if it's running water, basically. So I'm going to turn that on just in case if I need to, I could turn those things off or configure them. And so far I'm already liking this world, because it's not a snow biome like the last two. <laughs> I will admit, I really hate snow biomes. I really hate snow biomes. I don't know if I like this biome any more than the last one, because this one's quite annoying. I will say that. Mm-hmm. What is this, marshy, marsh, marshy marsh? Yep, this is marsh. Alright, let's see what is in this biome. Ah, oh, my goodness. I really don't like this tall grass, one bit. It's quite annoying. Eh, somebody forgot to clip their lines. I can tell. Oh, what is this place? Mountain. Okay, this place is more promising. So far, I like these biomes a lot more than those cruddy snow biomes. I hate snow biomes with a passion. <laughs> Only why is because they are the most annoying biomes to work with. Because you basically can't make an above ground base because they're just that annoying. Ooh, berries. That'll help. Alright, um, the thing with snow biomes why I hate them so much is because they're generally an ugly biome, I guess you would say. And they're just a pain to work with. Because you have the snow, and then you have the ice freezing, and all that kind of annoyance things. Alright, let's see if we can't find a fun place to build in. Huh. Alright, I think I like this area quite a lot. I think we're going to build in the mountains. Now, I do know that this mod pack is generally used for PvP against other players. But I generally prefer to play single player. <laughs> Only why is because I find that on server, somebody always tries to get me kicked from it. <laughs> get me banned from the servers. That happens quite often with me. It's not because I do anything wrong. It's because people just tell lies to the admins. Let's just say, I have a bad history with servers, is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, shrubland. I swear... I will always read that as scrub land. <laughs> Although I've been corrected that it's pronounced shrub because on my uh, whoa. on my cube world series, which is probably most likely not going to return or at least anytime soon. But on my cube land, cube world series, there was the shrubs, and I would always call them scrubs. And <laughs> it was pretty funny. But I'm pretty sure shrub is S-H-U-R-B, isn't it? I don't know. Alright, let's look for a cool house. Hey, you have a halo on. Nice to see that you like that gaming franchise. Not too bad. Alright, let's uh, check. I don't know what this biome is. Fungi forest. Hmm. Okay then. Alright, I'm going to get a couple things ready, and we can start working on this pack. Although, I am going to explain the basis of the pack when I get the things ready. Whoa. This is very strange. Alright, uh, yeah, I'm going to go get a couple things ready, and we could start building. And while I'm building, I'm going to tell you the basis of the pack and what I'm interested in the pack, so you know what you're in for. And of course, a good mod pack wouldn't work without these chunk borders being on my record key. Yep. Uh, now I know what I'm going to do right after this this segment. Yep, sounds fun. Alright, I'm back, and now I can explain what's going on with the series. 
Uh, first of all, I'm going to explain this is not replacing the Attack of the B Team series in case anyone is wondering, so don't worry about that. And now to move on to the main mods that I'm going to be working on is um, Thomcraft, the new version of that, which I can search up here if you would like. Thomcraft. This version of Thomcraft I'm actually going to be taking a look into and I'm really excited for this mod. I've been waiting to try this mod out for a while now. Oh man, I can't wait for this mod. This mod is actually pretty awesome. I did miss this mod since the last pack and I'm going to be taking a look at Ars Magica which is also a very cool mod. It's kinda like Thomcrafty magic themed basically and uh, I'm going to be taking a look at like Buildcraft and actually is Buildcraft in this? I'm pretty sure Buildcraft is in this. Yeah, Buildcraft. Well, Buildcraft, yeah there's Buildcraft in it. I'm going to be taking a look at that mod and Industrial Craft. So let's let's just take a look at these real quick. So those are like the main mods I'm going to be looking into and along on the side with like um, extra utilities which has like these these barrel things and these things these drum things I mean these drum things are pretty awesome <laughs> here let me search up a recipe for one real quick so you have an idea they aren't too expensive in my opinion I think they're actually decently cheap considering how powerful they are they are pretty good items I will say that and I gotta say Vanilla Minecraft is starting to look pretty crappy. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm still thinking Vanilla is looking pretty awesome. I still am going to play Vanilla. I am thinking of doing a map reset, just because my map is currently around a year old, and or two years old, and I would like to do a map reset pretty soon. I'm probably going to do a map reset in update 1.8, just in case you're wondering. So there's those bits of news for that. And I think this series will be a lot of fun. <laughs> so yeah, that that's basically the gist of this mod pack and what I have planned for it. I hope this mod pack doesn't become uh, unupdated like the last pack. The last pack kind of just lost its attention because... The people like the mind crackers got bored of it because it was very glitchy and such their server was and I kind of lost interest in playing it because everyone else was map resetting so I figured it would be the appropriate time to map reset around the time that everyone else was so it's just basically going with the with the community in the map reset which was around the same time period which I think that is a fairly decent idea. I don't know, you could question me on that all you want. I don't mind the questions. I don't mind the comments. I would appreciate comments. <laughs> and also with Warframe, that series, that series along with my other series like Attack the B Team, Vanilla and all those might slow down slightly. I'm not going to say they're going to slow down 100%. They're just going to be a bit slower than usual. The reason that I've been playing uh, Warframe so much is because that was at my highest interest at the moment. But now this is, so I think this will have a lot more episodes to come out. I am still going to try to do maybe one to two of these episodes a week and the rest be like Warframe or Attack the B-Team or all those. All right, let's kill him. There we go. Actually, let's turn down our sounds because this sounds pretty loud. But those series are still going to continue on. They're not going to stop. They're not going to be dead series. Don't worry. This series is coming back. It's not replacing any series. And I think that just about covers everything that needs to be said. So with all of that said, I will meet you guys right back when we have some more items. Hopefully I will get good enough items and not get murdered in the night. Oh wait, let's look at this guy real quick. Hi. These guys are actually pretty cool. Ow. They do a lot of damage. Oh goodness! What in the world? What hit? Okay, I'm running. Alright, I went mining for a bit. I just made a straight shaft down. And I found one of them things. These things are pretty deadly. You get hit by them. 
Let's let's investigate. Why is my sound back up? That's kind of annoying. All right, let's let's investigate. Yep, rule number one of Minecraft: never dig straight down. What do I do? Dig straight down. I smart. I very smart like that. All right. Um, I don't want to get hit into the pricker bushes. Ah! Break it. Rule number two: never break a spawner. What does he do? Break spawner. All right. <laughs> The spawners weren't good anyways. Um, doesn't seem like to be anything of too good. Charmite. Uh, emeralds? Emeralds? Okay. More emeralds? Jeez. There's a lot of emeralds here. Gimme. Gimme. Gimme them emeralds. I'll take this iron too. Why not? Ooh, more, more Thomcraft stuff. Why not? Actually, I said more. I never even collected any yet. Thomcraft goodies. Yeah. All right. There's lead, gold. There's a lot of stuff in here. This cave is plentiful for right now. I know all this stuff is going to be useless to me <laughs> in the future. Or, I mean, not useless, but I'm not going to have anywhere near the quantities that I require to build anything. Yep, another guy went up in flames. They've been dying, like, left and right here. Like, that's three of them within the time that I had to relog. Alright, um... More emeralds. Uh-oh. 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 What is it? I'm scared now. Oh my goodness! What? What? Holy crap! Wow. Yeah, these, these mobs are pretty deadly, I will say that. All right, let's let's play this safe. Let's keep our path lit up so we don't get blown up. Let's break that spawner cuz I'm not even going to bother with that thing cuz it's just going to result in many deaths. I will say that. Yep. Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? 3 diamonds, 3 zombie spawn eggs and 4 bottles of enchanting and 2 apples. Not too bad. I'll tell you that. What is this goodies? What are those? May I see what you are? What are you? Come on! Tell me! Cinnabar. Okay. I believe that turns into um, Quicksilver, doesn't it? If I'm not mistaken. But with Thumbcraft, the new version of it, well, the current version, it's pretty awesome. Like, you have no idea. I've been waiting for this mod for such a long time. I actually been waiting for this mod pack. I wasn't going to do it because, like, do the mod pack because I wasn't sure of what mods were in it, and I wasn't sure if they interested me. I thought it was just all like guns blazing kind of mods and all such like that. But it's actually like all the mods that I basically like. Oh uh, no, I hear explosions. Sulfur ore. Okay, what is this? Oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah, go. Oh. Talk about your face turning red. <laughs> oh yeah, and I made some armor. Quick armor. Alright, um... Let's just jump down here. Let's try to avoid the burning lava. That would probably be a good idea. Actually, I should probably go put these diamonds in a chest. If I was smart. But I'm not smart, so I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not smart, so I'm not going to do it. No, I just don't feel like running back up there. And I bet you diamonds will be plentiful in the future. Because I know in the last pack I had more than I could use. Although there was kind of like a glitchy thing that I did to get so many of them. Not really a glitch thing, but more of like a cheap way of getting them, so to say. It involved the uncrafting tables. If you uncrafted one diamond, one regular diamond... Ooh, what does this give me? Mana restore. Okay, um... Uh, why does it say Minecraft? That's weird. I would assume that would have said Ars Magica. But, um, in the last pack, the reason how I got so many diamonds, in case anyone was wondering, yeah, is because the uh, uncrafting table, if you uncrafted one diamond, you got a um, diamond panel, and one of those diamond panels is uncraftable. Like, you could basically uncraft eight diamond panels and make a diamond block. And one diamond block, or one diamond panel, if you made that with the saw thing, 
you would get like that would just be the equivalent of one diamond. But since that was the case, that it was only equal to one diamond, but you got basically 1.9 per one, or something like that, 1.8, I don't remember what the exact, or no, 1.1, I mean. Since you got that for the uncrafting table, oh yeah, and Applied Energistics is one of the mods I'm going to be taking a look at. I actually forgot this is in the pack. I've been waiting to play with this mod for a long time. You have no idea. But with the diamond blocks and the diamond panels, if you crafted or uncrafted eight diamond eight diamonds into eight diamond panels, those diamond panels equal out to one diamond block. So in terms, with all that XP, you would get one diamond. I'm not sure if that still works. If it does, I might do that, because diamonds are going to be a bit of a pain to get. And I don't think that's considered cheating since it costs XP. I'm not entirely sure. If it's considered cheating, then I won't do it. But I personally don't consider it as cheating because it costs something to make. Plus there are other much more cheaty ways of getting things. Like for example, the, the Tome of Alchaist, I believe. Alchaist. That, that thing. This thing is overpowered. You have no idea. Like here, look at these recipes. Where's the one for diamonds? All right, let's let's look at this one. It takes four lapis blocks and one diamond to get two diamonds. Lapis blocks you can also get from. Let's see, what can you get lapis from? Okay, uh, lapis you can get from four redstone and one lapis. Redstone you can get from witches, or you can get it the other way of like smelting things, sawing things from bees. Bees are pretty good. They're pretty overpowered in, in my opinion. They don't really need nerfed or anything, considering that they take quite a lot of work to get to them. Really all this stuff does, but once you have it, it's it's pretty overpowered. Pretty, pretty overpowered stuff. Okay then, that is weird. How come I got the ore? Huh. Salt Peter. Ooh, now I can make macaroni and cheese with salt in it. It's too bad I always forget the salt. Alright, um... Doesn't look like there's anything too promising down here. Oh. Okay. Okay, come on. Give me the goodies. Give me them goodies. Or is this just aluminum? No, no, don't burn. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ooh, what is this stuff? Dark iron. Oh, okay. I know what this is. I know exactly what this is. Alright, um, let's break that. Or not break it, but get rid of it. This dark iron stuff is how you get the dark iron from the last pack that you would have to get from making a wrath igniter. But they changed the way of getting it. I'm not entirely sure why. I guess maybe because one one wrath igniter could light, I don't know, an entire field of blocks on fire and turn it all into stone. Or cobblestone, I believe it turned it into. I'm not entirely sure. Don't remember too much. Just to remember, guys, when mining for stuff, for valuable stuff, when you have a lot of valuable stuff on you, always do it right above lava, without a bucket of water. Because that's your best chance of finding anything good. Did you not know that? Well, um... Uh, I feel like you should have. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're probably going to die if you do this. Oh, I almost died right there. <laughs> and if I fall in the lava, I'm pretty much done for. I cannot recover. So let's see if I could just uh, not not get murdered here by this water current, because I really get annoyed by these things. And, uh, what is that? Silver. Okay, it's not worth it. Dark iron? I want that dark iron. Dark iron is always good. Alright, let's get this dark iron. Oh my goodness. And another thing with this series that's going to be better than the last or season, the thing that's going to be better about this season than the last one is this one, I have a better mic. Considering that I had just a PlayStation Eye in the last one. I actually had that. Oh goodness! Oh, remember that thing where I said if you fall in the lava you're dead? Yeah, that's not the case because there's water right here. But anyways, that's not always the case. But in the last series, or season, I had the PlayStation Eye and that was pretty crappy. <laughs> I will admit. I am very happy to have this mic. 
I I highly recommend if you're going to do anything recording wise, just invest in a new mic or a good computer. I'm just saying, it, it's worth it. <laughs> Not only is the new mic worth it itself, like just for recording purposes, but I personally like having a new mic or one that could accept the um, the audio output thing for your headphones. I think that's actually pretty nifty because for me I would always plug them into my computer and my computer one didn't always like that so much <laughs> it really did not like the the headphone jack that much I'm gonna say that my computer does not favor headphone jacks not at all actually uh, sometimes the sound cuts out in one side of my headphones yeah and all of that kind of fun stuff Ooh, ruby ore Biomes are plenty. All right, let's let's mine this stuff. Oh, I thought I was gonna fall in there. But in the first episode, we're actually just going to be doing collecting stuff. And in the next episode, I hope to get around to the like mods and all of that. Probably one of the first mods I'm gonna work on. Well, I hope to work on is going to be applied energistics because that's going to help a lot in the long run. In case you don't know what Applied Energistics is, is um, it's basically a thing for storage. And it's awesome. <laughs> basically, you can store so many items in, like, you could store a lot of items. They go by stack size, or not stack size, but um, item val value, whatever you want to call it. Item IDs, item name, whatever you want to call it. And you could basically put, like, a crap ton in one thing. You could put more than a stack in, so that's very, very nice. For example, you can have, like, a thousand of one item in one, like, one stackings, kind of like this. Like, I have three here. Yeah, I can have, like, a thousand in one spot. And it's like a storage thing, kind of like a chest. Except the thing that makes this mod stand out to just having an upgraded chest that can do that kind of thing is you could also search stuff up. Another thing with that mod that's kind of a downfall in my opinion is the fact that it takes energy to use those those things, like the storage things. That's that's one of the downfalls, but it's really not that big of a deal in my opinion. It's worth it. It's way worth it. I'm just saying. If you if you look into this mod pack, I highly recommend looking into that mod. Because it will help you so much in the long run. Alright, uh, let's just break this chest here, I guess. I do have an axe on me. Oh, that gravel scared me. I will admit, I always hated gravel. Even though they redid the texture, I still hate it. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's just break some of this stuff. I think that's about everything from down here. I do want to collect all this stuff that we can get. Because this stuff is going to show up very useful in the future. And the reason with the mod pack why I didn't think it was going to have any of the mods that I like, like Applied Energistics, Stormcraft, etc., any of those mods, is because um, the way Good advertised it. <laughs> Good advertised it kind of kind of wrong, or at least I heard it differently than he was saying. <laughs> Not really advertised, but just talked about it for the first time. He pretty much said it's a PvP mod pack. He didn't say much about the mods, he didn't say what mods were in it, he just said there's there's a bunch of mods in it and it's primarily PvP. <laughs> and PvP and single player don't really go along too well if you if you get what I'm saying because PvP requires multiple players single player doesn't have any other players I think if you didn't pick up on that I think you might need to look some solution up <laughs> yeah just don't hurt your brain too much <laughs> I'm just kidding I don't want to insult anyone alright um, I don't know if uranium up there whoa I really like this place. This place looks pretty nice. Mm-hmm. What is this that I see? This is just... Oh, yeah, it's just weird lighting. That looks pretty cool. 
All right, I'm going to be right back, and I'm going to check the time of the video. Hopefully it's not too long, so we can actually get to some fun stuff in this pack before time runs out. All right, I'm back, and we are actually at the surface of our current location, which is in the side of a mountain. And I'm just going to make a couple things here. So there we go. Now we have a diamond pickaxe and a full iron set in the first episode. I don't think that's too bad. I think that's actually pretty decent. And it looks like it's daytime out. How much daytime do we have left? Oh, okay, it just started. So actually, I'm going to get a couple more things ready. Because I would like to make the most of this first episode. This first episode is just starting off, so I'm probably going to name it uh, Starting Off. <laughs> Or caving or something. I'm not entirely sure. I I kind of wish I screenshotted those spawners on second thought. The ones with the arrows. Oh well. I'll just screenshot probably the side of the mountain. <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually going to go kill some cows. And I'm going to look into some of the mods. And we could probably start working on those next episode, I hope. Well, I think I'm going to have to call it the end here. But, um... One more question for anyone who has any idea of how the Ars Magica commands are. I know if you type in A-M-U-I-C-F-G, you get this little list thingy, and this is how you're supposed to set up the Ars Magica stuff, as far as I know, and you're supposed to click on these to apply them, but I don't know how to apply them, because when I click, like, it says... Show mana bars, that means these, I would imagine. And when I click apply, nothing happens. So either I'm doing something wrong, or it's not working right, or something like that. But if anyone knows how to set these up, please tell me. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, um, any other things that I have to say are I am going to be using some other mods along the way. I'm not just using the ones that I said. Don't worry about that. For the Tinker's Construct mod, I am going to use that, but I'm going to keep that off camera. If you want to see Tinker's Construct, you can go check out the Attack of the Bee Team mod pack uh, series. You can watch that if you want to see Tinker's Construct. And yeah, it's basically the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Feed the Beast. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The series is back, finally. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Leave any suggestions in the comments down below, and I'll read them.